Welcome to the Lead Pedal Podcast with your host Bruce Outridge, where he talks all things trucking. Now let's get rolling. Hello, welcome to the episode of the Lead Pedal Podcast. This is episode number 1160. And today we've got a Lead Pedal Q&A, and we're going to talk about truck driver schedules. The listener asks a question, and we're going to find out all about it right after I tell you about Bison. That's right, Bison is one of those companies that can help you with your schedule. You know why? They have an app. You can actually get your own loads and dictate when you're going to be home and when you're not. Now, that's very cool. Uh, they got the right to side policy that allows you to decide when it's safe to go and when it's not. You've got safe bonuses. they got fuel-efficient trucks. They've got the uh, highest quality uh, maintenance going on and all of that at Bison. So how do you learn all about that and what's going on there? Well, you go to bisondriving.com, check out the opportunities available, and get on with a fleet that is the safest fleet in North America. That's right. That's what they won last year. you got to stay with that. All right. So let's talk about uh, what's going to be our Q&A of the day. This comes from a listener who says that um, he has a bit of a different question. Any jobs for a new CDL driver? Now, this driver is in Chicago, so it might be a little different than uh, Ontario. Uh, says, I'm starting my truck driving school next week as a free agent. I didn't like the idea of being uh, beholden to a company for one or two years, and luckily enough, I was able to get financing. The school does have companies they work with, Swift, NFI, etc., so I'm sure there would be a good starting point as well. Uh, he says, don't want to go over the road, 43 years of age, kids as a teen, S- have a five-month-old cat, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so a lot of family stuff going on. I've been looking at the various job boards to see what's out there, and I've found quite a bit. So my question is this. Is it realistic that a new driver would land a job with a company doing local? Are there companies out there that have one to two night away routes, like leave and be out Monday and Tuesday, home Wednesday, leave out, be Thursday and Friday, uh, home Saturday and Sunday, then back to work on Monday? And if so, is it realistic that there is that a new driver would land a job like this. Finally, ideally, I'd like to be a fuel hauler as a first look, a bulk tanker as a second choice, so it's likely it be to uh, for a new person to land a job like that. And that came from uh, uh, Overlord Bob. Hey, Overlord Bob, thank you very much for uh, for the question. That's pretty, uh, pretty good. No, truck driver schedules uh, can't attain. Now, some of those ones here, like a um, the tanker and stuff, you're probably going to need a certain amount of experience. So don't expect to get a job like that out of the gate. But what you can do is you can get a job that is, um, you know, a regular job with Swift or whoever, whichever company you go with, and um, and uh, find out exactly what's uh, what's going on there. So here's what you're going to do: you're going to go get a job. If they run a 500 mile radius, you'll probably be in and out every other day and home. And so, uh, if you can do that, then uh, you'll be you'll be there. Uh, so just uh, yeah. So that's uh, so that would work um, as far as the family time. That's you're gonna have to work that out. Uh, as far as the job boards, that will depend on the company. It's very hard to get local work as a new driver, although it is hap- it can happen depending on the company you work for. But you'll find probably more over the road stuff first. And uh, I would say look at that um, to make sure that you're going to be there uh you can be out uh and home on a regular basis so that's uh pretty good all right let me tell you about driver check driver check has uh workplace safety is their thing man drug and alcohol testing making sure that you're safe in the workplace if you need any of those resources go to drivercheck.ca don't forget to look for their fitness for duty summit and you can uh, find all that drivercheck.ca tell them what the podcast is all right my friends so that's a lead pedal q a hey make sure that you uh that's a disclaimer so if you are uh, if you, this is just general information. Please um, seek a professional if you are looking for any of that. I would go talk to a recruiter at those companies before you assume that that's how they all operate. All right, and we'll uh, talk to you later. Make sure you follow us on socials, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, LinkedIn, X, YouTube. You know where we are. You can find us all right there. Thanks for listening, everybody. We'll talk to you next time. This has been another episode of the Lead Pedal Podcast. For more information or to subscribe to the podcast, visit the leadpedalpodcast.com and be sure to follow the podcast on Facebook and Twitter.